Hey, what's up guys? It's Gabe Monroy with NerdTech, and I'm making another video today about Air AI, the AI calling for outbound, inbound, uh, calling to leads, and today I'm actually showing you a test inbound script I made for a dental client, and this is a uh, test script here. So the beginning says, hi, this is Alex with ABC Dental Group. May you ask who I'm speaking with? And then it goes down this path. If they want to schedule an appointment, it goes down here. So you can see I made uh, some legs here. It says if they say they want to schedule an appointment. If the human says other anything else other than scheduling an appointment, we're going to answer their question. We want to make sure it's in the knowledge base. And then what I have here, typical inbound, we're going to make a loop right here. If human asks another question, it's going to loop back around and ask if they have another question. And then it's going to uh, it's going to uh, look at the knowledge base to be able to answer that appropriately. If they decide they want to schedule an appointment, it goes back over to this path. If they uh, don't have any more questions and it's simply going to end. So when we're going about down the path of scheduling an appointment, it's going to say, great, I can help you with that. What location as you want to schedule in? Uh, it's going to ask for their email right here. Is this the best number? It's going to schedule the appointment. It's going to confirm the appointment. And you know, this is just typical simple script. So the thing I want to show you was since this is inbound and uh, we're going to not know who's calling. We can't say high prospect name. We're not going to have any information. Well, I use my go high level platform called NerdTech. NerdTech is the best way to be managing air calls and contacts. So what we can do with this after the transcript comes in is we can have ChatGPT tell us who this person is and update the contact card. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. Uh, I'm going to go into the automation list here. We're going to click on post outcome called data. And if you followed my videos before, you'll see that this looks similar to my post outcome called data. The call ends. This trigger says that a call was answered. Uh, this determines whether it's outbound or inbound call. So for this case, it's going to be an inbound call. Now for the inbound calls, we're going to create or update the contact. It knows to either create or update based on the phone number. Well, in most cases, an inbound call is going to be a new contact, uh, not always, but if it is a new contact, then it's going to create the contact, add the phone number here, and other relevant information I have mapped. But the cool thing I want to show you today is these two functions right here for ChatGPT. So these are both the same actions. I have to have two because I'm extracting two data points. Each data point we extract, we have to have a separate GPT action for that. So the first one is extract name. I have a prompt here and it says from the following call transcript between bot and human, extract the human's full name and provide it as plain text response with no additional wording or explanation. Here is the call transcript. We get this transcript from the webhook up here and it's real easy the way I place it in there as I use this. I go to the webhook, call, and then we can get the transcript. This webhook right here this webhook action right here is only going to show up if we have a connected webhook. So just take note of that. So now we're using ChatGPT to extract information from this call recording after, or this call transcript after the call has ended. Then next we're going to do the same uh, thing. This is the exact same thing as we're looking at here for the email. And then after we've extracted those two data points, we're going to, uh, we've already created the contact based on the phone number field that came in. Now we're going to update that contact. We're going to update the contact with the full name and the email that it extracted from that transcript. So that's only going to work, you guys, if you actually have the question, what is your full name and what is your email in the script of the call? So that is a good thing to do whenever you're taking an inbound call so that you know who you're talking with. So make sure you include those. And now, uh, the magic is basically over. It goes back to the normal flow where we put a note on the contact and then do our normal operations. Uh, I show all these things through other videos I've made, but I wanted to highlight uh, how to get these uh, data points out of the uh, script and how I would use that with an inbound call here. 
versus an outbound call, you don't need to do that because typically you're outbound calling people that are already in your contacts list. You're triggering it from the Nerd Tech Go High Level platform. And so all the data points are going to be there. And when it's an outbound call, obviously you can reference specific things in your call script through metadata. But with an inbound call, we don't really know who's calling. So it's important that we are able to extract that information. Now, Go High Level does charge a, a pre Premium. These are considered premium actions. Uh, if I'm remembering right, I think it's eight cents every single time it has to uh, trigger GPT. So these two actions would be a total of 16 cents. I don't think it's a huge expense and I think it's totally worth it to get the data you're looking for. And it replaces the work of a human being having to go through and manually extract and input that data, which is going to take them a few minutes and likely is going to cost you more than 16 cents if you're uh, paying them per hour. So uh, hope you found value in this. Uh, I actually did a test showing you that this works. I'm not going to do it live, but if I go back over here to my contacts, I have a test contact here, and here we booked an appointment. I did this uh, just a little bit ago, and I was not in the system at all. There, I was not here. I made an inbound call to the inbound call campaign phone number, and it automatically created my contact. And then after the call, it updated me with the correct name that I said in the transcript and the correct email. And then it booked the appointment. And then I have this set up to send appointment reminders. So they'll get an appointment reminder calendar notification uh, a day before, an hour before, and 15 minutes before the appointment. So uh, this is some pretty cool stuff. If you guys need help with it or you want me to help you implement this into your business, just schedule uh, down below. I always have my calendar. You can link up with me and we can figure out a good solution for your business. Have a great rest of your week.